So after that, we had the Asylum match, a very polarizing match, to say the least, not only for the people in the arena, but more so on social media. When we got done with the show, I saw a lot of people shitting all over this match, and in some cases, rightfully so, but um, some people hated it, some people thought it was all right, some people loved it. The opinions on this thing were all over the spectrum, but um, it was Dean Ambrose against Chris Jericho, the Asylum match, first time ever. And just from an on-site report, from an, you know, an, an in-person perspective, from our perspective, I mean, I enjoyed it. I think it was way too fucking long, though. The match was almost a half an hour long. That was way too long for a, for a match that just involved them taking down weapons. The second half, though, I thought was pretty good. They definitely put forth a good effort. And just I think the only thing they took away from it, like as you said, it wasn't really meant to be exciting. It was just more so the fact that they spent way too much time Taking a weapon, using it. Taking a weapon, using it. Climbing the cage, taking a weapon, using it, or not using it, or whatever. I mean, they did that way too often. It kind of dragged down the match. But um, I think the second half definitely picked up the pace a little bit. The finisher, that was great. You called it with uh, Jericho going for the code breaker. Lays him down on the, on the thumbtacks. And uh, hit some of the dirty deeds for the victory. So Jericho looked beat up beyond hell um, on the WWE Instagram page. And the next night on Raw, whatever. So... Um, I, I enjoyed the match. It's not a great match. It's not a classic by any means. But um, I thought it was all right. I'm anxious to see what your thoughts on the match were. I thought it was all right, like you said. I mean, the time that the taking down the weapons and, like, climbing up and the them down. And, like, they didn't even use, like, two-thirds of the weapons. It was, like, that was the point then. And then, like you said, just, like, I thought the match was slow at first. But, like you said, they had to pick up the, like, the full picking up the weapons and climbing up. It just kind of took away from the match. I can see why people complain about it, because kind of like, even being there a lot, it's like, oh, now he's going to go for the weapon, and like, so we're taken down, and like, it just like dragged, I feel like, a little bit, but I didn't have like high expectations, I thought it would be pretty neat, but I don't know if they consider doing it in the future. Yeah, probably not. I mean, Dean Ambrose won the match, so I could see them bringing it back as like, for one of his feuds down the line, but uh... After the negative reaction, I would not be surprised if they next it. But, I mean, I guess it just has to be done better. I mean, I, I think they could do it in the future, but just kind of adjust the style. Maybe maybe not make it as long as it was on Sunday, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it was a long match. It like, felt like it was forever. Yeah, yeah. I think if they just kind of work on where they went wrong to improve it in the future. I mean, I think it's a cool concept, but... And also get... I mean, the bucket, I was like, are you serious? But they ended up using it with the thumbtacks. That was clever. The broom was kind of dumb. The barbed wire bat they only used maybe once or twice. That was a pretty illogical to have it sitting there the entire time, and they only used it like twice. That, that was kind of stupid, but the rest of the match wasn't that bad. Um, I enjoyed it, but still, I could see why people didn't like it as much. 